Now, there are, there are some other changes. The dynamic change is a major change. But there's also an unconscious change that takes place in our lives. When we're baptized, God makes us a different person. And just by the mere fact that God enters our lives, over a period of time, we get better than we were before. Amen. God helps us to be a better person every day of our lives. It doesn't happen instantaneously for most of us. For most of us, it takes time for God to make sure that change takes place in our lives. Now, if change is not taking place in your life, I think you missed out on something. I'm not sure what you missed out on, but you missed out on something. And if you missed out on it, you need to ask God to make sure that from this time forward, you will see change taking place so that you are a better person today than you were on yesterday. Now, unconscious change, it's not too big, but it does happen. And it happens on a regular basis. But in addition to unconscious change, we should have had, or we can still have, a metaphoric change. Okay? Brother Wright, what is a metaphoric change? I'm glad you asked me that. It all goes back to the word metamorphosis. And the word metamorphosis goes all the way back to the caterpillar. And how God, through nature, made sure that the caterpillar will eventually, help me with this, become a beautiful, multicolored butterfly. And God is responsible for the caterpillar becoming a butterfly. Do we have any caterpillars still up in here today? Is anybody still a caterpillar up in here today? You need to become a butterfly. Go into that deep, dark cocoon with the caterpillar. And then come out flying like a butterfly. God gives all of us the opportunity to become a butterfly. I'm looking for the chance for others of us who are still crawling around very slowly wiggling on the ground for all of us to become butterflies. Now, in addition to that change, there's one more change I want to give you. This change is the change which is a conscious change. Now, we do have an unconscious change, but what about a conscious change? Can we consciously make a change in our lives? Can we physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually make a change in our lives? Can we, with God's help, Construct something in our lives that will help us to be better people. Now, consciously, consciously, you and I know that we can think about where we are right now. We can sit down and literally think about what we are right now. We can think about where we're going right now. Can I get an amen? Can, can I get, can I, no, 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 I'm sorry, I got something here. Let me throw, I get a couple more. Amen, somebody. <laughs> God can help us to change if we allow him to help us to change. Now, several of us see so many things going on around us. We see this, we see that, we see something else going on there. We're involved in something around us, 
And we're just not willing to make a change. Are you willing to make a change? Because if nothing changes, nothing changes. God gave us sheep. And we have a lot of sheep here. And sheep, some of our sheep, have different ways of looking at things. And every now and then, the shepherd says, I tell you what, let's look at it like this. It's not doctrinal, but let's look at it like this. Well, now, if you want to make a change then you need to go along with what the shepherds are saying. Well, Amen, somebody. Amen. After how many years? They f- we built that church back at Greenbrier on the sign that says 1968. That's 61 years. It was in effect about two or three years before that. Just short of 70 years. Mm-hmm. And somehow over a 70 year period, God blesses a group of people to go along with change. Y'all remember how it was when there was nothing but white people in the building? Do do you remember that only white people lived in the community? Do you remember how some of you said, you know what, I think I want to go over there. I'm going over there for a change. And God bless you. And bless that church to coexist Mm -hmm. with white Christians and black Christians alike. Amen, somebody. And God gave you grace. And somehow, over a period of time, God looks at this whole cultural society and says, I'm going to change it from white Mm -hmm. to black and white, Uh and I'm going to make it black. And God is in some kind of collusion with Jesus and the Holy Spirit to keep us changing as we should. Now, there are some double messages. The double message is, I want to be a change agent. And then the other part of that double message is, "Ah, I don't think I can change. There are people in our world today who do not think that they can change. They don't believe there's anything they can do to bring about change in their lives. Well, they may be right, but with Jesus, if you put Jesus on your side, you can effect some great changes in your life. God will work with us for changes to take place.